Good morning, everyone, and welcome back. Joining us in studio today for our community conversation is UTEP President Dr. Heather Wilson. Dr. Wilson, thank you so much for being here with us this morning. Wonderful to be with you. All right, well, we'll get right to it. So UTEP continues to see a lot of growth, right? Mm -hmm. um, one of the major successes while you've been president has been the record-breaking research that everyone has been conducted there and fundraising efforts. Can you talk to us about that? And is there anything new that's happening with fundraising or research? Well, we, we uh, just set another record for research this last year, $146 million worth of research conducted at UTEP, most of it funded by the federal government, so outside funds coming into El Paso. And, um, and that, that makes us now the fourth largest research institution in the state of Texas, which given our size, we're much smaller than the others, but we're now just behind Austin uh, A&M and University of Houston as the most intense research university in the state of Texas. And last year, you also highlighted efforts in regards to financial aid, getting mm. more of that to yeah. students, and then also announcing that tuition wouldn't increase for the next two years. Have you, you and your administration been able to make that possible? And you're even able to get scholarships to students from Chihuahua. We had some scholarships supported by the state of Chihuahua, which is wonderful that the state government would support scholarships for students to come here to UTEP. Um, but in addition to that, the state legislature and the regents worked together to increase our state funding, which allowed us to keep tuition and fees low and you know freeze them for two years for out-of-pocket expenses for families. And we're, we're already rated as the number one value in higher education in Texas, and this just helps even more. We were also able able to, to really refine our scholarship funding. So now, if you're a family making less than $80,000 a year, your tuition and mandatory fees at UTEP are going to be covered. So, I mean, think about that as a value in higher education. It, it doesn't cover your books, it doesn't, you know, pay for gas to get to campus, but your tuition and fees for actually going to school will be covered. Um, and it's a combination of scholarships and grants for our students. That definitely goes a long way coming from, I know I'm still paying my student yeah. loans, so definitely comes a long way. Uh, Dr. Wilson, let's talk about new buildings and mm -hmm. efforts to modernize the campus. Yeah. It's already a beautiful campus, but what can you tell us about what's happening in terms of that? I think it's one of the most beautiful campuses in America, yeah. actually. But a lot of, we've got a lot of very old buildings and we have the, you know, we, our freshman classes have continued to increase in size. Another record freshman class this last year, uh, but so is research and so our, uh, we just, we've got cranes on campus. We've uh, we, uh, just finished the top beam of our, uh, our newest research building, which will open 12 months from, in, from today. So it'll be more open and doing research there in March of next year. And then we broke ground on the newest classroom building. We have some old, old yeah. classroom buildings on campus that were built in the 1960s without <laughs> air conditioning and things. And that's, they're well beyond their useful life. And so we broke ground uh, with the support of the state legislature and the regents on our newest classroom building, which will open in the spring of 2026. And then we're all going to celebrate taking down that old, like, 1960s <laughs> building. We'll just all go out there and with hammers uh, or something. Everyone's going to take yeah. a, a go yeah, at I it. Think so. Yeah, sounds like you guys are doing some incredible things. Let's talk more about student opportunities. You guys yeah. have really dived into space exploration and piloting that, piloting that for students. Talk a little bit about that. Well, this is a region in the country that's always had a lot of aerospace research. Of course, we have the launch facilities north of us in, at White Sands Missile Range, but also in Van Horn. Um, and, uh, and so uh, we've started a Bachelor of Science degree in aeronautical engineering, which we didn't have before. But we also have opportunities for research for undergraduate students and opening opportunities for students. That's what we're here for, is to increase access to excellent education that changes lives. And one of the things I'm most proud of of UTEP is that uh, it's number one in Texas and number 20 in the country for taking students from that bottom quintile in socioeconomic status to the top quintile. So we change lives here and I, I just I couldn't be more proud of the university for that. I can imagine that does a lot for enrollment, right? What's that been looking like? Enrollment is up for freshmen this year, um, about 4% over okay. last year. So it's a record freshman class, which is a good thing because we had a record graduating class uh, <laughs> last year. Yeah. Um, but uh, we're, for the first time, 
um, communicating outside of West Texas to students uh, who might want to come to UTEP for some of our exceptional programs. Or as I like to put it, just because you grew up in Lubbock doesn't mean you can't go to a better school. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yes, well said there. Come on to Old Paso. We welcome you here. Dr. Wilson, thank you so much for being here with us today. And we will have, if you're just joining us, we will have this entire community conversation on our website. And we have past community conversations there as well. Yes, thank you so much. We'll be right back after this short break.